conservationists are calling on the government to ban deep sea trawling on underwater mountains, which are known to be biological hotspots for marine life. Fifteen major regions that fish in the South Pacific met today as part of a week of talks aimed at creating a sustainable future for the region's fish stocks. But deep sea trawling on seamounts will barely rate a mention, and probably not from New Zealand. Perry Wilton reports. Seamounts are typically areas that are teeming with biodiversity, but campaigners say they're being torn apart by deep sea trawling carried out by New Zealand fishing vessels. When bottom trawlers trawl over seamounts, they literally drag the nets over the entire ecosystem. So essentially it's like underwater bulldozing. These artists and campaigners are painting their message on a wall in Ponsonby, but say we all need to wake up to what's happening to marine life in the Pacific. So they're kind of a symbol for this campaign. Um, I mean, not only um, are we taking too much orange roughly out of the ocean, it's also their entire habitat that are being destroyed by bottom trawling. This week, New Zealand will join representatives from all over the world in a South Pacific Fisheries Management Summit known as SPRIFMO. The activists say New Zealand is holding up progress and they want action. The thing is, the New Zealand government could end this destruction now because we're the only ones who still have a fleet out there trawling on seamounts and those permits expire in April. But they're not holding their breath. They're probably going to go with the status quo. They're going to allow bottom trawling for another year, which means more ecosystem destruction. But the public think it's time something was done. A new Horizon Greenpeace poll has found that 79% of Kiwis think that all bottom trawling should be banned altogether. Well, the government rejected our request for an interview. In a statement to News Hub, it says it promises to review its management settings. But who those conversations will involve and when hasn't been finalised. But the industry says the amount of seamount it targets for deep sea trawling is minuscule. If you want to talk about a, a seamount, you've got hills that look like sort of Mount Eden, then you've got mountains that might look like Ruapehu. But the trawlable areas on a mountain area like Ruapehu are almost like the ski slopes, you know, you've got little tracks that you can fish or ski on, and that's what we do. So while Kiwis have an appetite for fish, fishing companies will have an appetite for bottom trawling, and activists will still be waiting for a light at the end of the tunnel. Perry Wilton, News Hub.